we have a, a district attorney in, in New York who, whenever I see him, he asks, are you teaching them how to communicate? I don't care what they know if they can't talk to my judge, if they can't write a good case report, if they can't convince the jury that they know what they're talking about. And so our concept is to produce a person who's well-schooled in technology, understands the context, both social and legal, about what cybercrime is all about, and who can write, who can communicate. And we've been working very hard for years to try to establish that as, as a, the model for our program, and I think we've done a pretty good job. I'm Professor Richard Lovely. I'm the director of the Digital Forensics and Cybersecurity Program. And uh, ironically, I'm a, not a computer scientist. I'm a, a criminologist, sociologist, and I teach a course in cyber criminology and data analysis in the graduate program here at John Jay. Great. We were the first uh, dedicated graduate degree program in the United States uh, towards forensic computing or digital forensics. Uh, there had been programs in, in Europe and Australia at the graduate level, but we were the first in, in the United States to, to get going. So our vision to begin the program was that sort of a, to be a hybrid uh, creation of offering students a very high level of technology. And we have some crackerjack faculty members who really have invented the wheel. Um, our courses are not taught from textbooks for the most part. They, they uh, are teaching what they do, their, their research. And that, that is exciting for students. It's, it's a demanding and exciting for faculty as well. We have SWORD officers in the program, uh, people who are actually in the business, who are, who are doing digital forensics, who've come to learn the science beneath the technology that they use in their, their regular jobs. We also have a lot of mid-career people who are already involved in information technology but who decide they want to retool and some of them have to also learn the basic computer science to be able to take our graduate courses. But they already have great expertise in networks and, and other aspects of, of IT but they come to, to, to deepen their knowledge and, and become more versatile. We, we teach, for example, a course in network security and then network forensics. Uh, both are important, and you can just look at one or the other, but, but, but um, so network security becomes a prerequisite for our forensics course. So that, that combination gives a deep versatility to our, our graduates, and I have to say that, that there, there are probably far more jobs in cybersecurity than there are in, in pure digital forensics. Uh, because everybody's got a cybersecurity problem. You've got it, I've got it, um, corporations have it, universities have it, we all have it. When I got into this business, it was very, the, the, there was a very tiny uh, window for, for people. I was in the military and in high levels of uh, counterintelligence and security years and years ago. And the only people who had these kinds of cybersecurity issues were the White House, the Pentagon, and the State Department because they had a need for, for encrypted, secure communications at an international level. Well, now we all do that. Everybody's got the same problems. We have people who've graduated who are now federal agents with the Secret Service, with the FBI, with Health and Human Services. Uh, we have people who are running uh, digital forensics labs for uh, prosecutors uh, in Manhattan and Brooklyn and other places. We've had other investigators working for prosecutors. We have uh, people who are working in research areas for some of the big, big companies. Um, uh, we have people who are involved in software development. Um, the corporate side is also very uh, interesting. We have people who work for some of the biggest corporations uh, um, who all have cybersecurity problems and forensics problems, whether it's e-discovery or they have intrusions into their networks. Uh, hospitals have HIPAA violations constantly that they have to investigate. Um, so our graduates are versatile. Our graduates are well schooled and equipped to try to, to work on both sides of that, both the, the, when, when there's been an intrusion or there's been a, a crime committed, to, to, to find the evidence, to look at it, but also, if need be, to, to provide the security. So we have three different programs that are all integrated. One is the, the degree program, the Master of Science in Digital Forensics and Cybersecurity. One is a prep program for people who lack the computer science background but, but show promise to, to learn that stuff very quickly. And that's the Cybridge program, Computer Science for Digital Forensics. And the third is the CAD for Sci, CAD4 Sci, as, as our, our nickname for the program, by the way, is, is D4CS. That program is in integrated into the degree program. So we have three different programs. You can apply to 
any of them that you're qualified for. And so now every course that we teach has to have an applied dimension to it. Uh, we apply theory to practice, and that's, a, that's something we push hard. Uh, we, we like to say we, we want to make our courses maddeningly fun, uh, the, the projects that, that we, we require students to do, and I think our faculty are up to that task. Um, it's fair to say we have a rigorous program. Uh, we're selective in our admissions because you have to have the, the, the chops to be able to do the work we ask you to do. And, and we put out a pretty darn good product.